Could this be it? Could this be the MMORPG I've been waiting for for so long? The MMORPG that will make me crack fiend day and night. The MMORPG that will throw me so far into the depths of degeneracy that I abandon all responsibility. Okay, I don't know about all that, but let's take a journey into Lost Ark and figure out if this game's worth it or not. So I started off in character select. I was put into the hardest decision I've had to make so far, which was class selection. So far, they have only a few classes to pick from. Some are gender locked, some are not, but I believe even the ones that aren't gender locked do something different. And I ended up going with the gunner for the pew 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 pew. Going into character select, honestly, I was not expecting much because when you go into most ARPG character customizations, they do not have very many options. They maybe have like three hairstyles and the same face. But I was really, really surprised with the level of customization that they give you. In classic Korean MMORPG style, you can straight up change every single little bone structure and every little thing about your character. It reminds me so much of Black Desert Online's character customization. It's so good. As someone who doesn't really spend a lot of time in character customization, even I was changing every single little part of my character and I was having so much fun doing it. So I really think they did a great job with their character customizations. From there, I hit create character and I went straight into the game. I loaded in after the cutscene, which is complete garbage. I was in a celestial room covered with stars and glowing lights. Honestly, for where you spawn in, it's pretty cool. And once you cross the bridge, you get to this little machine that is really cool because it helps you select your specialization for your class. Now in most MMOs, they kind of show you a little bit of a preview with a video of what the specialization looks like and you kind of have to pick. What I really, really, really like about Lost Ark is that it lets you try out the specializations before you pick them. So you can go between all different specializations. You can fight monsters, you can fight multiple mobs, you can go through a boss fight, you can try all different scenarios before you actually make your selection. For all of you who have been watching this far, huge warning, huge warning coming in. You have to select a specialization and you cannot swap from that specialization afterwards. So make sure you select the one that you are going to play. Otherwise, you have to make a whole new care. After I've selected my specialization, you go through the most fluctuatingly boring to fun experience I have ever had in an MMO. Once you get into the world, you're thrown straight into the main story quest line of the game. And the main story quest line of the game is your typical MMO RPG. Go from zone A to zone B, kill X mob, get X material, hand it in, and keep going and keep going and keep going. So, I will say that this was not the best questing experience that I've had and it's pretty brain dead But what really did carry it was the combat and the combat was really really fun So that's something I do want to talk about usually when I play ARPGs The combat start is very very slow because you usually get one ability that runs out of mana after two or three uses And you can only use auto attacks in Lost Ark They give you so many abilities to start off with and it gives you a real taste of your class And you really feel impactful with the damage that you do do because a lot of the damage that you do has special effects. Like sometimes it knocks down your enemy. Sometimes it makes them dizzy. Sometimes it freezes them. Sometimes it catches them on fire. There's all kinds of different effects that go into the damage. As you start to level up, you also get skill points, which you can use to modify those abilities and change what they do. So you can really start procuring a build and make your gameplay style really tailored to how you want to play. What I really liked about the class I was playing and the specialization I was playing is that I got to swap between three different guns. So I had like three different play styles. You got the dual pistols that go pew 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 and you move around really really fast Then you have the shotgun which does insane damage at close range And then my favorite was the sniper rifle because you could just blast people from so far away and it did so much damage So honestly just the difference between those three play styles that I could do at a flip of a button was awesome Another thing that helped offset the boring leveling process was the dungeons. The dungeons were amazing I really enjoyed the dungeons because there was so much you had to think about. There was a lot of puzzles you had to solve. There were different times where the bosses had mechanics that you had to learn and there was a level of difficulty. Of course, I did these all on the hard difficulty. So basically you can choose between two different difficulties. You can choose the normal difficulty or the hard difficulty when you do a dungeon. You get better rewards for doing the harder difficulty, but obviously the damage is higher and also just everything is a lot more difficult. On top of that, you also have the choice between playing with other people or playing by yourself. 
both. I've tried both. They're both really, really fun. I will say that sometimes it gets a lot more challenging by yourself, mainly because I suck, but um, yeah. Although I only got to level 27, I think that once you get further into the game, the dungeons are gonna get more and more complicated, more puzzles, more mechanics, and it can only get more fun because of that. Now, the one thing I really wanted to try once I hit level 26 was the PvP in Lost Ark. The PvP in Lost Ark really intrigued me because everything is equalized. So although you can start queuing in at level 26 and you could fight the max level characters, you're all gonna be equalized. You're gonna have the same skills, the same abilities, and the same amount of damage. So it's really a skill-based PvP system, and I thought it was really cool because they have three different modes you can do as well. So you can either be a 1v1 god or you can clap some noobs with the homies. It's all up to how you wanna play. They also seem to have some kind of worker empire system like they do in BDO and life skilling, but I didn't really get time to look at it too much. Uh, I think it's gonna be really cool and in depth. Um, when we get another chance to look at it, I'll probably talk about that more, but that's pretty much it for my experience during Lost Ark. I think it was a really cool game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, drop a subscribe. I do stream on Twitch every once in a while, so you can go ahead and follow me there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to do a little bit more raw, unscripted version of the video this time. Catch you guys next time.